Welcome back, everybody. Polar night, yay! <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, hey, you know, so we're talking about goosebumps. I mean, ghost ghost bumps. What was it again? <laughs> I don't care anymore. Whatever. I think we actually talked you out last time, didn't we? Yeah. Well, I guess there is one other point that I can go in about the movie. Jack Black wasn't terrible, or <laughs> is he ever terrible? Uh, well, you know, that uh, differs from person to person when it comes to actors. Like, the one thing I can kind of point out is, like, uh, it became a bit annoying to me of how Slappy at somehow seemed to have become the main villain at some point. That is weird. Mm -hmm. Watch out for the wolves! Oh, darn it. You Not one fireball, huh? You gotta kill the wolves! Hold on. I need, I need up here. I gotta, I gotta get that treasure! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Watch and out for the wolf! Pounce him! Oh, ah, never mind. Double fireball. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, it just like annoyed <laughs> me a bit that like out of all of the possible Goosebumps characters, that like uh, for someone that could possibly serve as what could be seen as the main antagonist of this movie, Oops. and you decided to go with Slappy? Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> His spirits make him invincible when he dodges them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you could just uh, fish for those, couldn't you? I could. And I will. Just give me a minute. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Uh, now the trick here is not to do that. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sure I can figure this one out. Maybe not. Oh wait. I can do this. Oh, Castlevania. Huh? Yep. I just realized I was supposed to leave in there too. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I got it. <laughs> Forgot about the wolf that comes on through. Not gonna give us over there. No. It's just a bunch of empty boxes. Oh, I can't bounce on his head when he's doing that. I forgot. Uh, three fireballs. <laughs> that always takes longer to explode than I think it will. Oops. Yeah. And I can see how that is. Slappy's just a puppet. Why should he be the super ultimate god power? <laughs> and even then, like, uh, they weren't giving him, like, all of his abilities. Unless those were, like, TV show only given abilities. That's like, possible. Sometimes you get have a lot of freedom depending on the media. Like, I remember at one point, like, uh, Slappy had the ability to, like, turn other people into puppets. In in the TV show? Yeah, like, in the TV show. I don't even remember hearing that in the book, and I read one of the books. Like, uh, Slappy appeared in three TV shows, and that was because he had three books. And, like, uh, in one of them, he was, like, turning people into puppets. Ah! But yet, that never came up in the movie. Double they, fireball. Okay. Or just shoot it that way. There you go. Oh, you, turn, turn, you did turn him around, so that was cool. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, and, yeah, like, you know, there is that. I mean, uh, I guess I don't really know, like, who else could possibly serve as, like, a, Shove, you know, shovel it. <laughs> you know, like, a, a good, like, you know, oh, here's your main antagonist for this Goosebumps movie, other than Slappy. It's just. Mm -hmm. I feel like Goosebumps has been around for a while, hasn't it? Yeah. So I would think that like some new stuff like would have come out. I was like, oh, have you heard about like this big bad dude or something? But I was like, no. Well, they're from like this more recent book that, that hasn't had a TV show made off of it. You know, something like that. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your new aspect yeah. for the rest of the level. Just don't walk under the snow. You gotta jump over it, and then you land on it. Actually, if you just touch it, really, just as long as you land on it, it's pretty, uh, funny. Uh, okay then. And I'm out of magic. Oh, that's alright, we're going through here. Don't worry, we got this magic man to screw us up. <laughs> yeah, and like, I believe, as I said before, there's like, uh, you never saw any of the protagonists, uh, from, <laughs> like, the TV show slash books that make an appearance. I just defied gravity thanks to this thing, holy crap. Oh, no, I said, actually, that's not totally accurate. What's not totally accurate? Like, uh, apparently, uh, like, I went onto a wiki to, like, see, like, okay, so who all did appear in, like, in this movie? Mm. And there's a Goosebumps wiki out there to where you can check to see, like, um, what villains uh, made an appearance and what have you. But the wiki also noting how you really didn't, like, uh, see any protagonists from the books, except for, like, uh, in possibly three instances. But like you said impossibly three instances. I'm like, how is it possible? <laughs> yeah. Uh, because, like, uh, there was, like, this group of zombie mud monsters or something like that. And. Pretty, uh, isn't it? That's interesting. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it becomes a platform. Interesting. Ah! I forgot it goes that way! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, I forgot it's weighted down like the other thing is. Oh, uh, okay, so, like, uh... Okay, hold on. Just keep hopping. Just keep hopping. 
<laughs> I didn't mean yeah. like that. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh, it doesn't fall. Oh. Well, we were worried about nothing. This is like, this is the opposite of the magic thing, where we had nothing to worry yeah. about. Except with the magic, we had everything to worry about. Because we had all the armor to help uh, weapons. Hmm. Alright, so here's one plan. What? Now jump into the pit. Jump into the pit to the left of you. This is the oh. checkpoint right there. We can get all of our health back. It's right in the room before. And I was like, I don't want to go on and die somewhere in the middle. Ah. All right, so get punch it and move with it. Oh, wait, I should get off of it so it can float. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, now hit it. There we go. Right. Like, uh, yeah, but there was, like, one, uh, a few possible exceptions. Like, uh, there is this thing about, uh, mud monster zombies, and apparently the protagonist at the end of that became one, mm -hmm. so it's possible that one of the mud zombies oh. you saw was, like, that person, yeah. but, you know, who can say, really? And, uh, the only other exception to where, like, oh, yeah, that's the protagonist, all right, was, um, you ever seen any of the, uh, Goosebumps TV shows? I had seen some, like the dog people, what thing, where they turned into dogs. Ah, uh, okay, uh, did you, well. <laughs> yeah, just, no, not the money, anything but the money. Dang. It's okay, we don't need it. I got it. <gasps> you fool. Well, we just, let's just have to do it again, the platforming. Yeah, that, well, just, no. I don't want to help you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm going back. <laughs> All right. aboard is going right. ashore. Right. Come on. Uh, did you ever see the one with the haunted mask? Uh, yes. I believe it's just called the haunted mask. Right. Well, I never saw the character in the movie, uh, but uh, according to the movie, and I think they even showed a screenshot of where, like, the haunted mask, that green goblin green mask... Yeah, we need to hop together. Okay. Okay, good, yeah. good, we did it. Right. <laughs> like, did actually appear... Oh, fuck, hold on, let me do this. Uh, I gotta get it up here. Ah. Okay. Like, uh, did okay. actually appear at some point in the movie. Alrighty. And, uh, like, uh, the only way it could have really appeared in any antagonistic form, because it was, like, on a human body. That was my bad. Yeah. Because it was on a human body, yeah. meant that it had to have been on that main character's body. Yeah. So, okay, like, uh, a protagonist did show up, technically, even if I couldn't really see it. I'll... Oh, that was close. Huh. Nice, nice save. And... Although, like, you know, they were all being possessed by the evil yeah. and things like that. It's like, ah, oh, that sucks. You can shoot it back the other way if you hit it from this side. Yeah. Out of magic? Oh, never mind. Look! Oh, ah. you were, I wanted to say you're safe, but then you jumped into the hole. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to uh, take that thing out. Would have been a little easier if it would have let me respawn, but it wouldn't let me, because you're technically in the air. Huh. I see. Let's see, we still need this thing, right? Yep. Didn't think I could do it, did you? <laughs> I, t I, bro I broke the laws of physics earlier. I was amazed that I could do that. Oh, oh sorry. And... Okay, then. We gotta jump together so I can get up here. Or that. That works, too. Oh, I should let you get the magic. Wait, oh, I, I use the magic, too. Anywho, let me pop this. Well, anywho, that is interesting about the goosebumps and the lore, if there was any. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, you do it again. I'll try not to fall this time. Okay. That way, it's just you pushing it. Yay! Oh no, I'm dead. And okay, we made it this time. Alrighty. Ah, I didn't mean to. Hold on. Oh. Dang it! Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Hold on. Urgh. Urgh. Oh, I can't hit him from here. Hold on, I got an idea. There we go. I will grab the money bag as soon as I get a chance. Okay, now go for the other gold. Okay. Uh, let's see. Just gotta let it get higher. Yeah. Higher and higher! I'm pretty sure that's a song, but I don't know. I don't think there's anything secret over there this time. Ah, okay then. Away! I could've just gone, but whatever. <laughs> Here. Oh, you think you get smart, buddy? You think you get smart with me? But overall, I'd say ah. it's like, it was an okay movie. Somewhat predictable in a lot of its stuff and things like that. And, uh. Nice. Let's see. Nothing too surprising, I suppose. Apple. Oh. Eat the food! Oh, well, yeah, it was like a decent way to spend the afternoon. Alrighty. Oh, wait. Oh! Ooh, be careful there. Come on over here, dragon buddy. Oh, no! Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yes! Why am I still trying to duck? I, I don't know. I mean, I told you, I always try to do it out of instinct for some reason when I'm fighting Inspector Knight. 
I know I can't duck on here, especially his giant swinging side, but I try it anyway. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm safe. Bomb. Checkpoint. Now we're safe. Forever. Okay. I hate those guys. Well, we don't really need the health, but whatever. I'll take it. Oops. <laughs> Polar Knight level has a very icy theme. Yeah. I'd say we're actually doing pretty good this run. Hup. Here. I haven't really died all that much. Now yeah, we're doing pretty good. I mean, no one, no one intentional deaths. In the villager in the deals, I've got the field that you won't believe you gotta see what I mean. Warhorn. Clear the space around you. Huh. That's, uh, what exactly does it mean by that? By this! Brrr! Only what's in the Warhorn area. And I can't get that item now to refill my magic. Great. Yeah, okay, so it's just like an auto-kill? It's an auto-kill for anything right around you. I wouldn't use it too much, there's not too much reason. Maybe against Polar Knight, though, that'd be a good point. I'm gonna use it here, though, because I hate this guy. Okay, so it's an auto-kill on anything, but it costs a lot of magic. I had 40 uh, a second ago, now I don't. I really should have started using this here, I've never used the items too much in here. You know, like an idiot. <laughs> Alright. Well... Like, the fishing pole is my most used item, because that makes sense. Oh, I, to, now I, just, I just wasted magic because of you. Wait. I'll get you back for that, Adel. It costs magic to use your fishing pole. A little bit. Very tiny amount. Compared to anything else in the game. Alright, so try to get that gold money if you want to. Okay, uh... Actually, I got a better idea. Try to get all the way back up here, and then I'll take the reins. I can't get over you. Dang it, I hate this so much. No, come here. Come here. Okay. <sighs> I will try to collect the gold. You can shoot fireballs at those guys. Get back up there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, let's get you back up there. Like all the way up. Okay, never mind. You just stay on the top. Never mind. Like, go over here. Over here. Okay. How <laughs> so we not jump off of it? Well, there, I'm not jumping. Okay. Get up there and shoot your fireballs. Oh. Well, I can't use magic when I'm on the ladder. Nope. There you go. And okay. there we go. Alrighty. Ah, keep jumping. Okay. Hold on, I got this guy. I, I got this guy. I got this guy. Don't worry, I got him. Did you get him? Uh, no. <laughs> He's still alive, sadly. All right, this part we don't need to worry about the dashing. No! What? How are we gonna get across if we can't bounce on him? Uh, right. Okay then. I wish you could jump higher, but you can't. It's not like Mario. It's a technical part, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hold on. Ah! Yep. I was just gonna jump on you and get him, but whatever. You shoot fireballs if you wanna. Ow! Itch! Probably could've fireballed him, you know. Not while I'm on the ladder. You're just equidistant enough away to not get hit by that. Ah! So... Just, just going out, right? Yeah, just ladder climbing. We don't need to bounce on him. <laughs> oh, shoot! Nice one. What the? Oh, I don't have magic. I forgot. Oops. Oh, well. Yeah, you can just pick it. it up for me. Okay. I'm alive again. I would be soon. I'm alive again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you for saving my money. I don't know what would have done without that money. Once again, a shovel knight has uh, dug. Yeah, has dug our way out of hell. Sure. Yeah. And did I mention earlier about how I find that, like, that's a weird concept to just fall back on? Yes. About, like, why has it always got to be hell that you got to dig your way out? I don't know, but there's another yeah. secret path. Ow! Okay. Bitch! Couldn't you have been, like, a nice person at some point in your shoveling life? Well, I kind of question that in some Japanese lore animes or whatever. It's like, ah, oh, yes, he went to hell and all that. And it's like, but, but he was a good guy. Why is hell? Actually, I think it's Dragon Ball Z where it's like, that life is just only hell and then a bunch of clouds. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is that? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Mm. Uh, this part's gonna be hard without my invincibility, so... Shloopity doo- Ah, oh, crap, I missed it. Well... Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. I'm more dead than dead can be. You yeah. saw it here first, folks. I am dead. I'll yeah, take that back. 
<laughs> nice. I was just staying there. I was gonna suggest staying there, but you just didn't use the proper timing. Well, it's you just had to rejoin, didn't you? I, I didn't say jump into a ditch. That's what the guy who's trying to make you commit suicide told you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's very evil. Sounding. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm safe. You can't. I don't want to let you start back in. <laughs> now here comes the hard part, because then these guys are up here being jerks. And that was a bad idea. Okay, so my money's gone forever. Hmm. Well, Warhorn be a good idea, it. actually. I don't think you have enough for the Warhorn now, though. Like I could try, but. Yeah. Well, at least all of the money's still up there, and now I can okay. view the Warhorn like I'm an idiot to not realize I could have done. <laughs> I gotta save myself the trouble. Ugh. Ugh, now we're back down here. Hold on, I'm pretty sure there's like a trick I can use here. I feel like... Nah, I'd rather not risk it. I was gonna like... <laughs> I know a speedrun trick, but then I thought, I don't know how to do that trick. What's wrong with me? <laughs> But it's like a trick to jump over and get in the underside over like really quickly. It's like holy shit. Obviously only with items. Mm. Symmetrical climbing. Eh. Oh no. <clears throat> what was that? Hang on. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we need to go from above anyway. Oops. Oh. Right. <laughs> Just let me get up there. Ah, okay. Right. So, what was that uh, Mario thing you wanted to bring up? I wanted to bring up Mario Party 10. It's a pretty decent game and I like it. It's not as bad as the one called Island Tour. That one was a ton of crap. All the biggest amount of crap. You heard it here, folks. Don't get Island Tour for the 3DS. I need a little bit closer. Nope. Nope. That was a bad move. <laughs> That was bad. Okay. I would rather leave the money alone and not try to get it and almost kill myself. I like how you just kind of push me out of the way to get back to safety there. <laughs> it wasn't part of the plan. All right, now. Right, like, are they still doing that whole car thing? Mm, yes, they are, of course. What did you think they were gonna do? Not the car thing? Hmm. Ah! Hold on, let me let me just get all the way edged over here. Okay, jump on my car real quick, or I'll just jump off of this idiot. Thanks. All right, and now I can get the rest of the way through. Ah! Yeah. But anywho, they're not doing the car thing anymore. It's a pretty fun game. It's still really nice. Oh, they're not doing it anymore? No, they are doing the car thing still. It's dumb, but it's not. it doesn't feel as bad as it did the first time you get it. How so? I, like, how could they possibly make it? The only that? way I can describe it is that the boards are just not terrible in conjunction with how they were set up in 9 compared to 10. Because it's still. The, the game aspect is still yeah. the opposite of what it was before. Which before in Mario Party n games, it was like. You know, play to have fun, try to beat your people on the game board. I'll go when I'm ready, I'm just talking here real quick. Uh -huh. Okay, fine, I'll explain the battle, but I'll be distracted. <laughs> so, my old friend, the day has finally come. <laughs> sorry, no, I'm kidding. This will be our final duel, for I, the Dragon Boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, he looks good. This will be our final duel. Should we not lay down our silvers and pots as equals? <laughs> Yours has no equals. Surely you can recognize power. Join us. Join us, Luke. Join us. But my name's not Luke. It's clearly Silver Knight. See, it's up there in big blue lights. You've forgotten our oath. What happened to the proud warrior I knew? No more words. The bitter court will claim you. Get ready. He's going to do snowball stuff like that. And we can bounce on it. But it's a bad idea because the pattern is weird. And he does that too. Also, he's really cheap because he can make spikes appear. In that kind of spikes. I don't think you hit him. Try it again. Yeah. Did it hit him? Yeah, but it ain't doing much damage. I would figured so. That's weird. Why does it feel like? Watch out! Watch out! Spikes. Uh. Yeah, watch out for them spikes. He's gonna do that a lot. Try bouncing on him. Hmm. For some reason, it feels like there's a delay going on in my jump. That shouldn't be happening. Yeah, keep that doing! It's just like the other guys! <laughs> I forgot, he'll block like those guys do with their shield, and then we can easily kill him from here. He eventually does put the spikes covered back. Otherwise, yeah, they will insta-kill you. 
I've had it happen to me one time. That's how I know. Otherwise, I was like, I don't want to touch those. <laughs> and I was right to fear them. Anyway, yay, we did it. Anywho, as with Mario Party, all the way up until 8. It was always the same rule set. Take number of turns, you know, do all that schmizzy, all the turns you want to. And you could try to screw somebody over, but, you know, you have to go out of your way to do it. And that's all part about strategizing the game. Otherwise, most of it is in the skill of beating the minigames and whatnot, you know? <laughs> for Mario Party 9, for whatever reason, Nintendo decided it to be, since since um, uh, Hudson Soft can't make games anymore because they don't exist. Therefore, there goes the regular original Mario Party series. Now we have Nintendo deciding, you know, it'd be a fun way to play the game where the entire objective is screw over your opponents. From the get-go all the way to the end. That is entirely the rule set. I didn't realize it in 9, not until 10, whenever the board's now giving hits. Make somebody else get this, so they die more. It's like, that shouldn't be how it is. It really shouldn't be, because it's not fun that way. Bowser, bo Bowser mode is fun, though. It's try to get away from Bowser or die. And even then, you still have a chance to live. But it's d dodge as many games until you don't die. I just realized we didn't ever use the i in that fight at all. <laughs> Oops. Well, didn't we just basically complete that fight on the first try? Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know, we could have used another part of the stick if we were dying. Oh, you found a cool reception. How about you tr How about you try spending a man spending a manuscript? Not spending. When it's so cold, you can't feel your highly dexterous hands. Things that say fingers. I'm sorry. Either way, Mario Party 10 just felt more fun, is the way I can really put it. Many games weren't feeling as diverse as 9, though. There were a couple of good ones. The one that was the most surprising of all was the minigame called Shy Guy Shuffle, where you have to pick who has the most donuts that they're hiding under their little, like, dinner plate on top of their head. And I was just like, okay, and... And then I beat it, and then it shows who of the four players were there just having little, little eating little donuts at a little, t at the park. I was like, oh my god, that's adorable. So of course it looks adorable with all the girls, including Toadette. Because mm -hmm. she's technically a girl, technically not. Because Nintendo put like a weird official statement on that. It's like, they're mushrooms, they technically don't even have genders because they have 47. I was like, how did that work? How do you work mushrooms? How do you work they, fungi? They have 47? I, I don't understand, it's like a weird thing that's only two mushrooms and fungi. It's like, that's weird. Um, it is some, it's just a thing. So, they're whatever I want them to be. Which can be 47 different things. <laughs> Horns, the finest instruments, but they only really come to life in duet. I see. So the Toad Clan is nothing but females. Well, except for the ones that are clearly of the guy gender, because there's so many genders, which hey, one's Nintendo a guy? Nintendo said it's whatever I wanted to be. You know, it's just like with the Ice Climber situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Nintendo, Ice Climbers, are they lovers or are they siblings? And Nintendo's all like, they're whatever you want them to be. Ah, both. My favorite answer. Anywho, you play a horn with him and he gives you magic. Ah. But that's it. That's that, That's all you get. Like, magic to refill? Or yeah. <laughs> you get about as much magic back as you spent to get him to give it to you. Mm -hmm. I guess it's really worth thing if you have just enough, you can refill more than you actually have. Like, I'm saying it's just enough, but that's like, blarg. Blarg and a half. Well, let's finish up this run with Frigid Flight, shall we? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, no, I was just like, uh, I think a continuation on that. I was like, you know, the, you know, both, my favorite answer. Why not both? And then someone would says, because it's a crime against God. <laughs> Don't you know? God is dead. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Grizzled Seer. What generous cliffs! Planning to go farther? Better learn how to fly. <laughs> Aren't you gonna ask me three questions with like a riddle or something? <laughs> hold on, hold on, back up, back up. What you gonna do now? Keep rolling, run! <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Alright, I need you to move out of the way. Dang it! Ha! Who needs to fly when I have. Falling in style, I, I guess. Now, other Shovel Knight, don't follow me. Okay, there we go. Oh, darn it. I followed. No, you weren't supposed to. Oh. Alright, watch out. Okay, there, problem solved. Oh no! The bush is in the way! 
By the way, I'm not doing this how I should be doing it. I'm just, I'm just let you know. This is not the right way to do it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Uh, uh, okay. Ooh, money. Uh, I, I can't get up there. Dang. So, how are you supposed to be doing this? We're supposed to go to Propeller United States, but I'm being stubborn and stupid. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to back up. <laughs> We need his item to fly with, and <laughs> I thought I could do it. Oh well, they didn't stop me from doing a Plague Knight challenge without the item I needed. I'm not kidding, I did it without the item I needed. It's like, you need dash juice. I'm like, do I really? And I did it without it. Hmm. I was like, D did I really? <laughs> There's like enough invincibility frames, you don't need to worry about it. He gets his own version of the phase like it. I guess what we'll to cut that there and do Propeller Knight next time. My, yeah. One of my favorite nights. One of my favorite nights! Because it's daytime. Look, he's right in front of the sun. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> right, see you later, everyone. Bye.